Hello friends, today you'll see how actors of Lost in Space have changed, you'll know their original names and age, I will show you how they look then in 1965 and how they look now in 2024. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, let's go. Angela Cartwright, born on September 9, 1952, in Altrincham, Cheshire, England, emerged as a prominent figure in the world of entertainment, captivating audiences with her talent and charm across multiple mediums. However, it was her role as Penny Robinson in the groundbreaking 1960s TV series Lost in Space that catapulted her to international fame. Joining the cast at the remarkable age of 11, Cartwright portrayed Penny, the precocious and resourceful daughter of the Robinson family, who finds herself embroiled in intergalactic adventures aboard the Jupiter-2 spacecraft. Her portrayal of Penny captured the imagination of viewers worldwide, earning her widespread acclaim and solidifying her status as a beloved child star. Cartwright's presence on Lost in Space not only entertained audiences, but also inspired generations of young viewers who looked up to her character's courage and resilience in the face of perilous situations. Beyond her groundbreaking role in Lost in Space, Cartwright has left an indelible mark on the silver screen with her versatile talents and captivating performances. One notable appearance was in the enduring classic film The Sound of Music, 1965, where she portrayed Brigitte von Trapp, one of the Von Trapp children, alongside Hollywood icons Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer. Cartwright's portrayal of Brigitta showcased her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters, earning her critical acclaim and further solidifying her reputation as a talented actress. At the age of 69, Angela Cartwright continues to be celebrated for her contributions to the entertainment industry, with her work on Lost in Space and The Sound of Music remaining enduring highlights of her esteemed career. In addition to her acting pursuits, Cartwright is also an accomplished author and photographer, having published several books and exhibited her photography internationally. Bill Mumy, born on February 1, 1954, in San Gabriel, California, emerged as a prodigious talent in the world of entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on both television and film. However, it was his role as the precocious Will Robinson in the groundbreaking 1960s TV series Lost in Space that catapulted him to international fame. Joining the cast at the tender age of 11, Mumi portrayed Will, the youngest member of the Robinson family, who finds himself thrust into a series of thrilling and perilous adventures after their spacecraft, the Jupiter II, becomes marooned in space. Mumi's portrayal of Will captured the hearts of viewers worldwide, earning him widespread acclaim and solidifying his status as a beloved child star. His character's catchphrase, Danger Will Robinson, became iconic, further cementing his place in television history. Beyond his groundbreaking role in Lost in Space, Mumi has left an indelible mark on the silver screen with his versatile talents and captivating performances. One notable appearance was in the timeless science fiction classic The Twilight Zone, where he starred in the iconic episode It's a Good Life as Anthony Fremont, a young boy with godlike powers. Mumi's chilling portrayal showcased his ability to convey both innocence and menace, earning him critical acclaim and further solidifying his reputation as a talented actor. At the age of 68, Bill Mumy continues to be celebrated for his contributions to the entertainment industry, with his work on Lost in Space remaining a highlight of his esteemed career. In addition to his acting pursuits, Mumy is also an accomplished musician, known for his work as a singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Guy Williams, originally named Armand Joseph Catalano, was born on January 14, 1924, in New York City, embarking on a journey that would see him become an enduring figure in the entertainment industry. It was his portrayal of Professor John Robinson in the groundbreaking television series Lost in Space that cemented his legacy. Throughout the show's run from 1965 to 1968, 
Williams captivated audiences with his portrayal of the intrepid patriarch, guiding his family through the vast unknowns of space. Despite being in his early 40s during the production, Williams brought wisdom, strength, and compassion to the role, endearing himself to viewers of all ages. Before his iconic role in Lost in Space, Williams had already left an indelible mark on television as the titular character in the hit series Zorro. His charismatic performance as the masked hero not only captured the hearts of audiences, but also showcased his versatility as an actor. Williams's talent wasn't confined to the small screen. He also graced the silver screen with memorable performances, including his role as Pythias in the 1962 film Damon and Pythias. Tragically, Guy Williams' life was cut short when he passed away on April 30, 1989, at the age of 65, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with fans worldwide. Mark Goddard, born on July 24, 1936, in Lowell, Massachusetts, is a seasoned actor whose career has spanned several decades, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. However, he is perhaps best known for his role as Major Don West in the classic science fiction television series, Lost in Space. Throughout the show's three-season run from 1965 to 1968, Goddard portrayed the courageous and resourceful Major Don West, the pilot of the Jupiter-2 spaceship. During his time on Lost in Space, Goddard was in his late 20s, bringing a youthful energy and charisma to his character, which resonated with audiences of all ages. In addition to his iconic role in Lost in Space, Goddard has also made significant contributions to the world of film. One notable example is his appearance in the 1968 cult classic The Angry Breed, where he showcased his versatility as an actor, proving his ability to excel in a variety of roles across different genres. His performances on both the big and small screens have solidified his status as a talented and versatile actor. As of the current date in 2024, Mark Goddard is still alive. If he were alive today, he would be 87 years old, a testament to his longevity and enduring presence in the entertainment industry. Marta Kristen, born Birgit Annalisa Rusinen on February 26, 1945, in Oslo, Norway, is a versatile actress whose career has spanned multiple decades and mediums. She is most widely recognized for her portrayal of Judy Robinson, the eldest daughter of the Robinson family, in the groundbreaking science fiction television series, Lost in Space. Throughout the show's original run from 1965 to 1968, Kristen brought depth and nuance to the character, captivating audiences with her intelligence, warmth, and resilience. Notably, at the time of her involvement in Lost in Space, Kristen was in her early 20s, imbuing her performance with a youthful vibrancy that resonated with viewers of all ages. In addition to her iconic role in Lost in Space, Kristen has left her mark on the big screen with appearances in various films. One notable example is her role in the 1962 Disney film Savage Sam, where she demonstrated her acting prowess alongside esteemed actors such as Brian Keith and Tommy Kirk. Kristen's ability to seamlessly transition between television and film underscores her versatility as an actress, earning her acclaim in both mediums. As of the current date in 2024, Marta Kristen is 79 years old. Dick Tufeld, born on December 11, 1926, was an American actor and announcer best known for his iconic role as the voice of the robot in the classic science fiction television series, Lost in Space. Tufeld's distinctive voice brought the robot character to life, becoming an integral part of the show's appeal. Throughout the series' run from 1965 to 1968, Tufeld's voice provided guidance, warnings, and comic relief to the Robinson family as they navigated their way through the cosmos. At the time of his involvement with Lost in Space, Tufeld was in his late 30s, showcasing his versatility as an actor by immersing himself in a role that required only his vocal talents. In addition to his work on Lost in Space, 
Tufeld had a successful career as a voice actor, lending his voice to various other television shows and commercials. One notable example of his voice work is his narration for the popular animated series The Jetsons, where he provided the voice for the show's opening sequence and the character of the computer. Sadly, on January 22, 2012, he passed away at the age of 85.